from around the globe. It's the Cube with coverage of SUSECON Digital. Brought to you by SUSE. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's coverage of SUSECON Digital 20. Getting to the end of a full day wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Uh, we've been, rather than everyone getting together in Dublin, we're talking to uh, SUSE executives, their customers and their partners, where they are around the globe. Happy to welcome to the program uh, Rachel Cassidy. She is the Senior Vice President of Global Channel and Cloud. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. So, uh, love getting to talk a little bit about the channel. Uh, you know, talk about the whole go to market piece. Maybe start a little bit, if you would. Uh, channel and cloud, you know, how do those two go together? Uh, talk to us a little bit about you know, what your organization does. Okay, sure. That's great. So I think this is something new for SUSE. So at the beginning of this calendar year, we actually saw a lot of synergies uh, between how we were going to market with our full end ecosystem and really pulling in all of the different partner types include our route um, with supporting our customer digital transformation to the cloud. So that allowed us to pull all of the alliances together that really support end to end that transformation. So under this um, charter, we're basically looking to fulfill and support our customers, regardless of what route they want to use to help them through this time of digital transformation, enabling them in whatever type of uh, cloud environment is best suited for their um, business, whether it's hybrid or completely public or born in the cloud, et cetera. So that's what our team is, is focused to do. Excellent, interesting to see how those, those pieces are coming together. Of course, one of the big discussions is you know, moving more towards that cloud model. We've been saying for years, you know, public cloud really is that bar that everything gets man managed at, everything from the consumption model to pricing and everything and the like. Um, I know one of the, one of the pieces uh, is that uh, you have a new partner program. Uh, could you lay out, you know, wh what's changing? Uh, you know, how's that all work? Uh, what does it mean uh, to, to, uh, to how SUSE is going to work with its ecosystem? Great. Yes, yeah, so we're very excited about this. We're releasing or unfolding slowly our SUSE One Partner Program. And this is one holistic partner across all of SUSE. I think historically we had some different programs that address certain go-to-market routes or what have you. And we're pulling that all together so we have this larger all-encompassing offering. Um, already to date, we've just soft launched a brand new partner portal. So there'll be a easier look and feel and ability to use our systems. Coming soon, we'll also have an updated learning management system behind the scenes. So you'll have easier and more access to different types of training to support the different uh, roles as you kind of build out your channel and cloud strategy within your organization and all of the supporting services and solutions that, that support that as well. The other big change that we're doing, and this is you know, a preview to what's coming later towards the end of the summer. So this isn't released yet, but I'm giving you that, that precursor here, um, is, you know, a different approach. So we're not going to categorize our partners by I'm an IHV or I'm an ISV. What we're going to do is focus on specialization. So how to sell? Are you a seller of a solution? Are you a builder? So you're building integrated solutions that other partners in the downstream channel can sell. Are you a managed service uh, supporter or services provider or CSP? You know, so we'll have those different areas of specialization that then our partners can opt into one or more and make their business more impactful to their customers and we'll support them along that journey. Yeah, so, so sound, sounds like that, that move is to kind of align more with, with what you're seeing from customers, I'm assuming. What, what do you expect uh, that, you know, that change to have a ripple effect to, to SUSE's business? Yeah, I, I think it allows us to have more of an impact with our customers, make our end-to-end -end offerings more strategic. It also allows us to really leverage and create relationships across the full partner ecosystem. So it's not just a, a SUSE-specific solution, but we're looking at what are the use cases that our customers are trying to solve, and how do we put the different parts and pieces of the ecosystem together to help them get to that next state of success. Um, whatever that looks like for them. And oftentimes that's the trifecta of a multi-partner solution that then we can package, bundle, support, and enable our partner ecosystem to support customers on as well. 
Excellent. Uh, Rachel, you know, how are you seeing some of the changes uh, in, in that ecosystem impacting uh, what you're doing? You know, we talked a bit about cloud, you know, AI, of course, is a big discussion point, uh, you know, uh, for the event this week. So, you know, how are some of those larger technology trends, uh, you know, impacting uh, your, your channel and go to market? Yeah, I mean, the first piece is, I think, the different partners are changing their businesses. So a traditional IHB, they're looking and expanding their offerings into more services or MSP type offerings. So they're looking to really engage and support their customers through that digital transformation. And that's what the partner program and how we're aligning our organization is uh, in support of. And then the other piece on the technology roadmap, you know, we're looking to, to move up the, up the staff and be more, more impactful with some of those application driven solutions to, so ml and ai etc and how we can be a bigger part of that and enable our partners to be successful in that as well and then on top of that i think the other compelling uh, factor that we have to offer is true source initiative so i think especially now in this marketplace we're seeing a lot of more you know it was already becoming mainstream if you will but now with covid 19 you know it is a catalyst for innovation and we are all about true open source opportunities and offerings. And that's what we're also enabling our partner ecosystem and our end customers jointly together um, around so that they can also be successful. Yeah, I, I've had some great conversations uh, covering SUSE Khan uh, with your partner ecosystem, talking about the digital transformation, talking about the impact of data. Um, is there, are there frameworks, maybe some new training that you're rolling out? You know, maybe you can expand a little bit on that, that digital transformation discussion, uh, how you make sure that you've got a, a holistic solution for customers between SUSE and its, and its ecosystem. Yeah, great, great question. So one of the things that we're doing is we're calling them SUSE One Partner Stack and, and they're modularized integrated solution stack. And we're doing these basically top down and bottom up. So from a market demand perspective, where should we be playing? What are the partners that we should be interlocking with to create those end-to-end -end solutions that meet high market demand opportunities and challenges that our customers face today? And at the same time, we're also building and defining these from the ground up. So what are the asks that we're seeing from the field without any marketing support or anything, just kind of proactively coming to us, help us solve this problem and pulling those parts and pieces together and then also making them very modularized so that they can be almost like a, a Lego block, if you will. So you can plug and pit play the, you know, the pieces that are relevant to your specific solutions. And in the partner world, if you have your own storage offering or whatnot, you can use that or you can use art. So it's very um, you know, modular and it also really helps to address very tailored specific solutions. We're starting these at kind of a horizontal play. So looking at some of these new technologies, like you mentioned, you know, what are we doing in AI, et cetera, to help support that partner ecosystem and that end-to-end -end solution. But then the next wave of this is what, what can we do more of that's repeatable and scalable to help our healthcare providers or our automotive, you know, opportunities as well. So the next iteration, our next next will be to have these solutions, Suzu One partner stacks, if you will, um, for vertical offerings as well. And then of course, Great. sorry, um, you also mentioned training. So all of this, you know, it's not just us building it in the back room. We're doing it in the field with our customers, with our partners, and then all of the different supporting components that you need to be successful from how to support, you know, do it yourself marketing kits so that we can empower our partners to build this into their solutions or services are also part of this. And then enablement is a key, you know, table stake for all of it. And not just on the, the parts and pieces, but the end-to-end -end offering and also looking at that role base. Like, what do I need to really help my customer understand the value of this end-to-end -end solution all the way down to, you know, the support technician or the deployment architect? Excellent. So, Rachel, I, both in the keynote and the conversation that I had with Melissa, uh, there was a, really a celebration of SUSE being fully independent now uh, for a year. I'm, I'm curious what impact that has on the ecosystem and, you know, how does just being an independent open source company uh, impact the relationships that you have? I think, I think we've seen a, a nice uplift in excitement and opportunity from just that. So, 
you know, when, when people choose or go or embrace an open source option, it's because they want choice. And we are now the largest independent open source company in the world, and we're offering choice and flexibility. And all those values that are key in the open source culture and world are part of SUSE's culture, which I also think is really important and it resonates you know, through, through our partner ecosystem, but also then extends to our customer. Excellent. Uh, I want to give you any final words you want to share with the ecosystem as to what they should be looking for. You gave a little bit of a hint for some things coming out in the summer, but if, if final takeaways from SUSECON. Yeah, you know, um, our, our logo or our tagline, if you will, is the power of many. And this isn't something that any one of us can do, you know, on our own. And I think especially in this today's environment, with all the challenges that we're facing, we're really seeing people come together. And, and that is the definition of open source. And I've been in this environment um, for, for quite some time. I drank the Kool-Aid a long, long time ago. Um, and, and it's important to us. So for the partner ecosystem, you know, I like to say it's the power of many and we're together as one. Um, and I think that's kind of the, the message that resonates. And, and we want to make uh, working with us, whether you're a customer, a partner, you know, easier, you know, easier to go to market, easier to be innovative and find those solutions together. And, and part of our overarching mentality is, you know, to simplify, modernize and accelerate. So everything we do are under those three pillars. Um, which I think is really exciting. Um, and I'm excited to be here and be a part of this, especially at this time. Right. Well, Rachel Cassidy, thank you so much for uh, updates. I think perfect note to end things on. Community, uh, obviously something that, uh, you know, a big focus at the show, as well as something that is near and dear to the heart of the CUBE team. So it's been a pleasure for us to participate in SUSECon uh, this year and definitely look forward to many more SUSE events in the future. Thanks so much for joining us. Super, thanks for having me. Have a great day. All right, make sure to check out thecube.net for all the interviews that we have in the past, as well as shows we will be at in the future. I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you for joining us for theCUBE.